Hi, and welcome to Chair Tai Chi, and oh boy, are you ready to have a wonderful workout. Let's go. I know a play on words with my silly shirt, but I make myself laugh. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Feet are shoulder width apart, about two fist lengths. Arms drop down to the side. One rises shoulder height and release. Just warming up our body. Big breath, exhale, Just calm your heart. Now as you lift, look to the corner back to center, not completely to the side wall, just rotating your head about a quarter of the way. Both arms come forward, palms are up. Inhale, exhale down. Scoop forward, shoulder height. Draw it in, lift and release. This time, as you lift, rotate your palms and bring it down. Scoop up forward, rotate. Now, rotate and push to the side. Drop it down. Nicely done. As you reach to the side, look over one shoulder. Look over the next other shoulder this time, other way. Breathe. Bring it all the way down. Your hands are on your thighs. Extend one leg forward and release, change sides. Lift and release, getting our legs in the game. Breathe. As you lift, rotate that hand forward. Again, lift up, circle, and push. Like we had done, up and push. Up, push. Sit strong. Bring it back to center. One palm is up. Reach across and bring it around. And back to your thigh. Other hand, palm is up. Reach around. Lift it up. Push it down. You got it.
Now this time, make the circle quite a bit bigger. Bring it all the way up over your head and push it down. Across, over your head, and push it down. Beautiful job. Add a lift as you come up and push it down. Adding another element to Bring it down together. Elbows come up. Invert that V and bring it right back down. Big breath. Bring it up, but extend one hand out. Look that way. Bring it back, change sides. Bring your hands down. Let's do that again. Up, hold it chest high. One reaches and look. Let's continue. Now, as we go through this steady flow, there's not a pause now. We know the motion. back down to center and drop those arms. Allow them to open and close. Just let all of the tension of those arm muscles just release. Nicely done. Palms turn up, bring them overhead and into prayer to heart center. Up and out. Rotate those palms down. They lift up. Draw it in. You look amazing. Such beauty. The flow is gorgeous. As you come in, extend one leg. back and release. Palms reach up. As you draw in, extend the other leg. One more each side.
Keep that breath going. Exhale through your mouth. I keep wanting to put my leg up too soon. <laughs> ah. And bring it down. Slide your hands in front of your knees and round your back, opening up that spine. Sit tall, look up, pull your shoulders away from your ears, squeezing your shoulder blades together in the back. Round and release. Sit tall, squeeze those shoulder blades behind. And lift. Back to center, one hand on top and one is low. It's a small ball. Lift one elbow and extend your hand up to the ceiling. Bring it back and even it out. Again, lean and lift and reach. Draw it back and then straighten up. We're going to add that other arm, hold there. The other arm reaches down, palm is up. Bring it back and straighten. Beautiful. Let's do both of those together. Open and reach. Continue. back to center and rotate your hands whatever's on top change that lean just the top hand to begin with and back to center again Hold it here. Now extend your bottom hand out. Draw it back to center. Both at the same time. Hold it here. Lift it up and rotate. Bring it down. Rotate on the top motion. going to rotate to the side. As you get to that edge, rotate. Allow that a little bit of a lean. So it's a body level change, a balance challenge, a swaying motion. Very nice. If that's too aggressive, go back without the sway. Or maybe 
do a couple with and then straighten up. Hold it in the center, drop those arms. Extend one leg forward, point, flex it back. Stay with that same side, point forward and flex it back. Pull those shoulders back. Change sides, sit strong. <laughs> to make it more of a challenge, you're going to hover your foot and don't tap your toe or heel. Find a balance in between as you need to. Be mindful. And release. Let's grab a drink of water and we'll jump back in. I'm extra thirsty today. It is hot here in sunny Florida. That's why we're here though, right? It's a beautiful day again. Sit strong and your arms come out, pointing them down. Slowly round it forward, tapping your fingers in the middle. Open and drop them down. Straight down close to your thighs. Up, shoulder height, round like you're holding a big ball. Your elbows are bent and then they straighten out. As you tap your fingers, look over one shoulder. You'll change directions the next time up. opposite way this time. And release, drop those arms, stepping to the side, lift that toe up and heel toe. A small range of motion, change side, lift, heel toe. Sit strong in your chair, lift that chest. Now look over to the side wall. If you hear that bird chirping, that is actually a bird outside my window. Our mocking jay is very aggressive on his song, but I like it. Add an arm reach, lift and open. Back to center. Now add a hand twist under and reach. 
bring it back. So as you lift, your fingers go down and push through. The same movement that we began the class with a, a wrist turn right there. Another element, second hand, it comes under. Bring it back to center. Twist, scoop under. So much to think about, I know, but there's more to come. Let's add the second leg. As the hand comes through, the other leg comes together. Bring it back to center. Nicely done. If those extra elements are uncomfortable, just do the beginnings of the movement. Maybe you don't want to do the second hand or leg, just keep going. Find what works for you today. Now this time lean in as the second one comes back. Together. Lean forward. As this one comes in, you draw it back. Back to center. Beautifully done. Last one. Bring it to the center position. Big breath, bring it up. Alternate what arm is in front. The other arm goes to the side. Inhale up. Exhale, so you're making a V per se. So your arm is going to the side, not completely to the back. Bring it back to center. One arm drops, lean into that side and let's do a big circle with that arm. Now slowly turn your head toward the ground, opening up that side and neck shoulder area. Keep the circle slow. Reverse that circle, keeping it large. And release, bring it back to center. Big breath. Exhale. Changing sides, leaning into that. Get the circle first. And then when you're ready, you're going to look down toward the ground, pushing the opposite shoulder away from your ear. Reverse that circle. back to center. 
extending one leg forward with your heel to the ground palms face up and scoop forward draw it into your waist elbows come back as far as you're comfortable and your arms drop down pull it in then drop it down leg back to center your hands are sitting on your thigh a small circle just a transition reverse that circle and release other leg comes forward palms are up once again reaching forward drawing in elbows go high then release your arms. Lift that chest, elbows drive back. Big breaths. Legs come back together. Place your ankles together, your knees together. One hand is on the outside of your knee. The other one sweeps up and around. Come back to that hand, forward, and change side. Sweep it up, back, and around. Bent arms, totally fine. Straight arms are just a little bit more difficult. those hands up just a little bit high as you change sides. Now bring a forward motion and it comes back. So your hand comes forward first instead of back. heart center and release sitting tall rotate to the side as you rotate exhale never hold your breath but you can exhale letting all that air out of your tummy that's a core strengthener back to center, drop those hands open, feet are back to shoulder width apart, lean in and circle. Now immediately get the other one to come in. So you're using both arm circles.
bring it back to center. Hands come into prayer. And thank you. The birds are saying, yay us. I hear them speaking outside my door here. Have a great day. And the word for the day, oh boy, we did a great job. Bye.